What is the difference between a LUT and a preset? We're gonna talk about what a LUT is, we're gonna talk about what a preset is, and how to use both of them, either in combination or individually, just how to use them on your footage, then you can make the decision from there on how you wanna use them. So here in Premiere Pro, I have this piece of footage, right? And you'll notice right now, and if you don't know, now you will, this is shot in a format called log. Um, it's desaturated, there's not any color contrast. Basically, it looks like a very flat image profile. That's because it is. And I shoot in log, and a lot of you guys shoot in the log because you want to have and preserve more detail in the image and in the raw you know, metadata of the footage so you can access that and get a better quality color grade or have the flexibility to change color later or exposure or a lot of things. Now, how do we go ahead, let's say, add a LUT? What is a LUT? A LUT is a lookup table, L-U-T, right? And what that means essentially in like very normal speak, it's a predetermined, predefined set of instructions on how the color should be affected in footage. Now, you can add LUTs on non-log footage, but I find that it, doesn't come out the way I want to. But for instance, we'll come over here. I'll change this to the color tab. We'll go to basic correction. Here I wanna do a conversion LUT really quickly. So I'm gonna go none, press browse, find a conversion LUT. So I'll scroll through here, go to conversion LUTs. There we go. Set my white balance. There we go. Looks pretty accurate. Now we still have some work to be done. So really quickly, let's drop our highlights a bit, drop our shadows, increase our contrast, increase the exposure a bit. Maybe bring down the white point just a tiny bit, not too much. And we'll bring the blacks down as well. Now there's a lot more that can be done to this and I would do a lot more, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna add a LUT now because we wanna have a completely different look than this. We wanna have a custom look based off of a LUT that we downloaded because we liked that LUT. In my case, I went ahead and grabbed like a vintage, orangey you know film look thing not that it would work on this footage for instance but it would obviously be an option uh, so go down i'll find my what right here it's film emulation what's vintage city that's the one i went ahead and grabbed press open and now you'll see that i have this very defined look to my footage i can turn off the original basic correction and you'll see what the LUT does without any of my converting and that's what the look looks like so if i turn the creative off that's where we started i went ahead and corrected my lighting and I corrected my color space. And then I went ahead and added a LUT or a lookup table, which is again, a predetermined set of instructions for the color, click it on. And this is my LUT. Personally, not a fan of that look. I would not go with that. This is more my style, but that doesn't matter. It can be any LUT you have. You can go ahead and throw them on, try it out, see what works for you. Now, you understand what to the to an extent that you know you maybe you didn't a second ago. Now, what about presets? What are what are presets? Well, in Premiere Pro, at least, and this is what we're talking about. Presets are a defined set of instructions for effects. And what I mean by effects is over here on our left side of the screen, or at least on my left side of the screen. Yours could be different. Go to your effects panel, and you'll see the word presets. Sounds pretty obvious. Maybe it is. But what presets are? are actually the same as the rest of these effects, except people, myself, have taken the effects, combined them to do a certain look, to a certain thing, an effect, saved those and compiled them as a preset and exported them so I can just drag and drop the preset into my footage instead of doing all the manual labor work that it would have taken. For the sake of this video, let's assume that you downloaded my preset, my Halation and Bloom preset that's on the store here. You can click the link in the description, go down there and check it out if you want to. But let's assume you just downloaded it. Now what do you do? Well, in order to add a preset to your footage, in order to add a preset to Premiere, you want to go to your effects panel, press the three lines, press import presets. Here we go. I have a Halation and a Bloom preset. You know, select the preset you want, press open. Now I already did this, I already have the preset. I'm not gonna reinstall a new instance. But in your case, when you install a preset and you do those steps, it'll pop up now underneath the presets folder. You can see I have Bloom Trentorials and Halation Trentorials. These two effects are effects that I've made and I can add to my footage how I please. So in my case, I duplicated this footage and I know that when I duplicate my footage, I want to add my bloom effect to it. So I'm gonna go to Trend Tutorials preset, go right here to bloom, click and drag it on there, that it adds a nice bit of blur and bloom to my footage. And then if I wanted to add, and then if I wanted to add the Halation preset, in this case, I right click, add an adjustment layer, press enter, cause it's the same sequence size, stretch that to the length, go back to my effects and just drag the Halation onto the adjustment layer. And simple as that, now I have Halation and bloom, dragged and dropped, or any effect for that matter, any preset, without having to do any of the work. Obviously, you know, there's an up and down side to these things. A lot of fine tuning can be done. You can come over here and you can change a lot of the fine tuning. But for the sake of the video, that's the difference between a LUT 
the preset. That's why you can't drag a preset file into like a LUT folder over here in Creative because that just doesn't work that way. And that's okay, now you know. Um, I've, I hope this answered a lot of your guys' questions. Simple little video, but hopefully helpful. I'll see you soon with hopefully more of a fun, deeper tutorial. You get the point. All right, talk to you later.